Hey, good morning, family. I'm excited to be with y'all again today. I have a word for you. Uh, this word is quite a bit. I don't know if I probably make it a two-part series here again. But um, I was praying. Like, and, and, and first off, I want to say this. <clears throat> I hope you had a Merry Christmas. I hope you had good family time. I hope you got uh, your heart's desires. You know, uh, it's, it's a wonderful time of the year. God is so faithful. Um, but I was praying on Christmas, um, Christmas, uh, night and, um, the Lord said, I want you to get inside the car and I want you to drive around and pray. So I got in the car and it was, it was about four o'clock in the morning. And, um, I, he said, I want you to listen to the song Pet by Petra, uh, the band Petra. I want you to listen to it prayer. And so I just put it on repeat and just kept praying in the spirit and and listening to uh prayer by petra and just driving around in in my town and all of a sudden the lord just opened my eyes to the spirit realm when i was worshiping and singing and praying and i came home and the lord said i want you to pray with your wife so i i told my wife i said we're going to pray and we need to pray together so i started interceding and the Lord showed me, just like he always does, uh, the calendars. He shows me and visions things that are coming. And I was, I, in this one, I could see into January really clear. I could see into February, March. I could see plots and plans of the wicked, of uh, them plotting things against the American people, against America's elections, against a lot of things. Interference. And... um I, I have to be careful with some of it because I don't know if I'm I'm not going to release all of that. But I'm going to I'm going to say it like this. I heard the Spirit of the Lord say this Great grace will be poured out over twenty twenty four. A great grace. I saw a grace wave. It was more it was I it I could see it on January, February, March, April, and May. There was an acceleration of great grace. I saw a change in the spiritual atmosphere concerning finances. Finances, supernatural outpouring of finances for the people who are listening in the body of Christ. And it's gonna pour the just and the unjust. It's going to be on the just and the unjust. I saw finances on the unjust and I saw finances on the just. Okay? A great wave of money. Um, 2024. Okay? I saw a diffusing of another plot of a virus. A diffusing. Now, I don't understand that, but it was like... It was going to try to be something that turned into nothing. More so of what the enemy was trying to store for 2024. A di it was like it was like you like you let out a balloon in it, you know. I saw going into April and even more of an acceleration of finances in April. Something about April, praying over April. And I could hear the Lord Jesus Christ. I, I, I could hear when he was talking to me when I was, I was, I was praying and singing. Uh, he was over this great grace time. I could see he was anticipating something. He was watching over. This was over America, what, what I was praying over at this time. I could see him watching over our land. He was looking at us with anticipation watching us and how we were going to uh, handle this finances, how we were handling this window of, of, of a grace explosion is what I'm going to call grace acceleration, okay? I got clear into, um, I could see the, the weather, I could see storms, I could see uh, as far as spring goes, like it, like a normal spring, you know, acceleration of long track tornadoes. I saw the jet stream strengthening 
and the and the jet stream was is was was like it was accelerating and i don't and like i said i'm not a meteorologist so i'm just telling you what i see i just saw that the storms would be long track tornadoes in some places that would be like at a stronger category in of an ef5 that, that we've never seen before okay and then so this is stuff that not, doesn't not necessarily have to happen. This is stuff that we can pray over to stop, okay? Because I'm a prophetic intercessor. I'm trying to tell you things that the Lord shows me that we, I know that we have authority over that we can change through the power of prayer, okay? So over the storms. We have authority over storms. So, and I've told you all that before, and so I don't want to go down a rabbit trail hill but here, but, but, but we are able to speak to the storms and tell them to be peace, be still, okay? So when he's showing me about the long track tornadoes and he's showing me about these, this major events of the jet stream speeding up, I don't understand all that, but I'm just telling you, we have authority over the storms and drought in, in places, major drought in places uh, coming, and so speaking over the rain, speaking to the rain to come over your area that you have water for your land. It doesn't have to be that way, okay? So so going into, I saw Trump with major rallies, with seas of people coming to his rallies. Um, I saw him speaking on a stage with a white shirt, a red tie, and a blue uh a suit like he always wears and he was preaching and what it looked like mountains in the background i don't know where it was maybe it was arizona maybe it wasn't i i don't know but there was mountains all on like he was standing on a platform here the seas of the people was all out here of course and there was mountains in the horizon i could see them and he was speaking there and I won't tell you what I saw happen, trying to try to happen against him. We just need to pray for his protection. That's all I will say. You will need to pray for his protection in massive rallies. Okay? And, and so that's what I'll say about this. Pray for protection for presidential candidate. I saw it out, outdoors. Okay? I saw, uh, like I said, a big crowd. I saw mountains. I saw this stuff. So just be, that's what I'm going to say about praying this. I saw going into um, 2025 again. And I saw great, great, like, like, have, like you all, if you've ever seen like a dam, like the Great Hoover Dam in Las Vegas, uh, Nevada area, this was like a massive, thick slate wall of of something that looked like as dark as onyx again i saw it going the end of december going into january okay it looked like it was unpenetrable the blackness it was the darkest black i've ever seen before and it went all up on a wall like this and i could I could see going in, like you could not see through it, the darkness, the black, it was the blackest, uh, like oil, like, like oil, like crude oil behind it, like, like this, it was what I've ever seen. And the more I was looking into it, I could see into January, February, March, April, and all of a sudden it split. And what was the blackest through those months, dark dark had a bit of a green start to come upon the grass right here there were some trees i could see the trees but then there was black as thick 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 black all on top of these trees in april and Mar march april and may of 2025 and then I kept focusing on it because I could see it. I could see it. And I was just like, Lord, why am I seeing this darkness all on this, uh, this time frame? But I was hearing the word depression, a great depression, okay? And then I seen Trump in the Oval Office, and he was crying. And he had his hands down on his head like this at his desk in the Oval Office. I saw this. Now... 
this is another thing we should pray over because I, like I said, about the presidency, about all this, I'm not trying to get political. I'm just telling you what I saw. And he was praying, he had his hands at his head like this and he was crying, crying, but he was not, cr he was crying and asking for mercy. He was crying out for mercy concerning America and he was interceding, but it was a different type of Trump. He was skinnier, for one, and he looked tired. He looked very um, wore out, per se. But he was broken to the point where he was interceding, and all of a sudden I saw pastors in the Oval Office with him walking around praying. Walking around praying, he had called for people to pray with him. And I could see these men, they weren't just standing there behind, like I've seen pictures before in the past, with them behind him praying for him. They were actually pacing and interceding in the Oval Office, praying in tongues, praying in the Spirit, in the Oval Office. I've seen it. And they were all interceding. I saw a man, I don't know who he was. He was a pastor, I know. I believe he's a pastor for somewhere. Had a bald head right here, and he had a hair on the side similar to, to mine, but he was balder. He, I mean, he had no hair right here. And it was all on the sides, he had hair. But he was a tall man with, that was skinnier. He was he was a, a slender man. Well, compared to me, he was he was very slender in my opinion. But he was probably, I bet he was 2, 250, 2, 240. And so he was walking back and forth praying. And he had a gray suit on, a white shirt, and no tie. It was, it was unbuttoned right here. He was praying in, in there. So I don't know. It was like he was trying to, they were just praying. And I could see the pastors and they were interceding in there. And, and they had... They had their hand, like I said, he kept praying like this, and I could see, and the tears were just flowing out of his face when he was interceding for the nation. And all of a sudden, now this is very interesting. I saw, do you like whenever you see the uh, the the paddles for the for the you're 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 going to shock somebody to to wake them up? I saw those hitting the nation of America. Boom. And I saw shock waves go over the land. <sighs> Pulses. And it was like this. <sighs> and I could see the shocks again. Boom. And I could see it rippling across the land. And all of that black started to move. There was a thick black that started looking like waves of, 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 of energy moving across the soil of America. As this prayer was going on in the White House. Uh, and then all of a sudden, the Lord said, Folk, I saw up north, toward the North Pole, okay? And I saw a light that looked like a match. And all of a sudden, their black was all over the world at this time. It was a black that was all over the world. And if you would take... An egg, an egg, this is the way I'm going to describe it, okay? If you were to take an egg and you were to put pressure from the inside out like a chiclet breaking forth, that's the way this dome that was a half of a, of a, half of a sphere that was over, over uh, uh, this area that looked like that. It was a half, but it was breaking, the light was a match. And all of a sudden, this 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 energy, which would I want to call Holy Ghost energy, I don't know, it's like the Holy Spirit, the anointing, I don't know, took it and exploded that blackness off, and it started to fall in pieces like an egg, like I'm talking about, like a splitting of an egg, and it was like shattering, like like it was like ice, like cracking, you know, like it all splittered out, and all of a sudden, that anointing, that glow, that light from this match. This, this light, it was this most intense light I've ever seen again, similar to what's at the Father's throne. It was, it was at a center, but there was, there was light upon light around it from the north. And it split this black out and it exploded. And all of a sudden that light started sending rays of light 
through that eggshell looking thing, this membrane is what I want to call it. It started to split and, and it, the light started shining all through it. And then the light started to spread. And, and I, I couldn't figure out what that was, but I, that's what I saw when I was praying. Uh, it, it, it was, it was really beautiful, quite beautiful, but I, but the, but the black, I was, I was really looking at this black dome looking thing of why it was on, towards the north by, um, I wouldn't say by England, all area up there. It was by, um, Ireland, that, that up like that area is where this was at. So I saw all that. And so then I was taken back and it was like, I got sucked back into I, I I feel myself in the in the vision. The Lord was taking me back to uh, this time of 2024 instead of 2025. Looking in 2025, praying over 2025 in the Spirit because I pray over these this this season. I'm interceding, so I want you all to pray with me. I'm not saying that he's going to be the next president. I'm not saying Joe Biden's going to be. I'm just telling you what I saw, and I I see in part, I hear in part. And, and, and I'm a prophetic intercessor. So I'm asking you to pray with me. Pray for the protection of 45. Pray for, for this nation to turn around. I'm praying that those shock waves, oh, I didn't see what happened after that. It was, the vision was cut off. I didn't see if the, the, the land was like it was waking up. If it was something was happening, he was crying out and there was a, there was a, there was, there's people praying. And so I know what the word says. That if you do that and you pray and you turn from your wicked ways, I know what the Lord says. Um, I believe he's given us more time here. I believe he's wanting to have a major revival. I believe there's wanting to be a turnaround of things. I believe that Jesus still has a desire to see a major outpouring of his spirit upon America, upon the earth, like we've never seen before. And I told you I saw a major sh shaking coming. I told you all I saw a major, uh, major events taking place throughout the, or the world. So I want to encourage you to pray with me. I want to encourage you to intercede for this stuff that I'm seeing, um, for that finances, for, 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 there's a lot. I, the Lord's just showing me a lot of stuff, but I'm telling you this 2024 is going to be a good year. There's, there's a lot of people that, yeah, there's going to be bad. Yes, there, it, it, just like there is and everything. But I'm telling you, it's what you focus on. And I'm telling you that there's going to be a great grace over 2024. That you can, that the, the people think, well, it's going to be really bad and all this, this drama. I'm not denying that there's going to be stuff take place in the world. But I, wars and things like that. But I'm telling you, there's, there's, there's good to it. There's good to 2024. There's good to it. There's something, there's hope is what I'm trying to tell you all. There's hope. It's not all doom and gloom. There's hope for you in your household. There's hope for you, for healing, for deliverance, for a child, for, for your children to have a good future. There's not all, it's not all, well, everything's falling to hell in a handbasket. No, I'm trying to tell you that we have authority in this earth. We can pray over things and call those things that be not as though they were. We can call your, your circumstances to change. You don't have to live down in the dumps. You can have, be full of the joy of the Lord and have increase in your life. Listen to what the Spirit of the Lord is telling you to do on a daily basis. Listen to Him on a, on a minute by minute. Pray without ceasing. By, by having communion, you don't have to be speaking all the time in your mouth. Pray in your heart towards him. Father, I seek your face. I need you, Lord. I need you for my direction, for my, my house, for my wife, for my husband, or whoever. I need you to teach me on, on whatever. He said he will teach you into all things. He'll, he'll, he'll show you things to come. He'll teach you about things. He'll show you how to cook, whatever. It doesn't matter. He loves you, and he wants to help you. I ask him how to fix car or uh, my lawnmower or whatever. He'll show you things to come. He'll teach you about everything. All the time, he'll teach you. Lord, I need your help. He's an ever-present help in a time of need. People, people go, well, do you hear, about, hear him all the time? Yes, all the time. If you will listen to him. 
and you build a relationship with him, he'll talk to you about everything. You know, it's just like a lot of times these people will call and they ask me, they tell me, say, I hear people say, well, I don't want you, uh, I, I think you should not make so many videos. Some people say, I've heard preachers tell me, I don't think you should make so many videos. So I pray about it and Lord say, Brandon, if, if um, Kenneth Hagin could preach a revival, five week revival, pray, preach twice in, a, tw twice in a day, every single day for five, five weeks straight and never get tired. You're, you're fine, son, to do a little 15-minute sermon on the internet every, every several days. It's not going to hurt you. you you're going to be just fine. He started laughing about it because people have such a small-minded mentality because I start going about it, and he goes, Brandon, you're never going to run out of the water. You're never going to run out of the river if you're in the, close to the vine, son. you got to be close to me. But the reason why people get dry and they get weary and well-doing is because they're not staying close to the vine. If ye abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will. I, I just want to be next to him. I want to be I want to be next to to, to, to the living water. And and people want to know, well, you don't you need people to help promote your channel? Listen, I didn't I, I came on here to preach to whoever will listen. It don't I don't need ten thousand views, a hundred thousand views, whatever, to make me feel like I've done something. If I have five people on here that get their lives touched by this, then then by I've done something. It's not about it's not about that to me. I I I've I've come from nothing. I've I've I was janitor for going on 15 years of my life, never having an opportunity to ever speak to anybody. So any kind of attraction you get is good. Jesus is using me and I'm excited about it. So I don't have to have my name in lights. Who cares about all that? All I want to do is make sure that he, whenever I get on the other side and I'm standing before the Father, he says, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Brandon, you did it. You did what I set and called you to do, son, and you did it with all your heart. You did it without grumbling and complaining. You did it with, 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 with peace and joy. And I want to reward you. Go and enter into the peace. Go enter to get your reward, buddy. That's all I'm looking for is that that relationship that I have with him is even greater on the other side. And, my, and I am doing something huge for him in a thousand years. As far as ministry giving me credibility and trying to and promote me and, well, I'll give you, help you get more subscribers and 10,000 of this and all whatever, who cares? I'm telling you, I'm not about it. I don't need promotion from man. I need Jesus. And in him, if you, I'm abiding in him, he's going to do whatever he wants to do with my life. He's in control of it. He's the captain of my ship. I'm just sitting in the back saying, Lord, tell me what I got to do because I, I just want to make him happy with me. I just want, I want to get on the other side as truly that he is the potter and I'm the clay. And I have this treasure in an earthen vessel that the excellency of the power will be known of him and not of me. I have no desire for everybody to be saying, Boy, you, you, you're something because all I want is Jesus to say I'm something. So I hope that blesses you all today. All this stuff with these people, I, 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 the collabs and everything, I'm about done with all that. I, I just, it, it's a distraction. Praying, praying without ceasing. Seeking him for my channel for what God has told me to do to tell you all. So that when I get on the other side, good job. So I hope that blesses you all today. I, I just, I, I'm sorry if you hear my little girl in the background. Um, she she makes a lot of noises. You know Megan's overcoming. Uh, she she's overcoming autism, and so she she makes noises. So I I'm trying to make the video as best I can. And if it's in there and you hear it, I apologize. But that's what that is is my little girl. She she needs a healing, and so just being real with y'all, you know I do the best I can. It's cold to go in my garage and do these videos, and I freeze when I'm doing them. And I'd rather do them in my house because I'm Mormon here. And so I go out in the garage, but you know, whatever. So let me pray for y'all. Let me give you an encouragement that Jesus is still on the throne, that something big is about to happen for you. Father, I thank you for every single person who is listening here and is, and is, is still a part of this YouTube channel. I pray blessing over them and increase and multiplication and favor over their houses.
I call their marriages to be blessed. I call their homes to be blessed. I call their children to be blessed. I call their bodies healed and whole and well in the name of Jesus. That no weapon formed against them will prosper. I thank you, Father, from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. We call them delivered and set free from any kind of addictions in the name of Jesus. From chemicals to, to drugs to pornographies to abusives to whatever. It, it, whatever they may need in their soulish realm. We call them delivered and set free in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, that you said their mind, their will, and their emotions, we re they'll renew their mind and, re and get in the word, and everything is going to be okay with them. It is well with you and your household today. I call blessing an increase, and I curse cancers and diabetes and heart disease and sickness and disease of all kinds. Whatever you may need, Jesus paid the price for you to have all the healing you need. I call you delivered and set free by the power of the blood of Jesus right now. He already did it. Now you receive it by faith. I call you healed. I call you delivered. I call you whole in Jesus' name. Spirit, soul, and body. Father, I thank you, Lord, for miracles working in power. Oh, I, I call you delivered right now, sir, of PTSD. I call PTSD to leave right now in Jesus' name. You tormenting spirit, I command you to go now from that individual. I call you delivered and set free in the name of Jesus. And Father, I thank you, Lord, for your healing power that flows on the inside of them. I call new kidneys. New kidneys. Line up. New kidneys. 2024, Father, they'll go into it and soar. There is no more kidney problems in Jesus' name. No more liver problems. No more. I call your heart healed and whole and well in Jesus' name. We call your vows. We call vows to be delivered and healed and whole and well in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, that all the, 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 their, 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 their heart is pumping like it's supposed to. And Father, I thank you, Lord. Even, oh, I just saw arteries in the neck. Father, I speak to arteries from uh, uh, clogged, blocked uh, arteries, main arteries going to the vein. No strokes come nigh you. I speak to strokes. Father, I thank you, Lord, that they're healed and whole and well from any kind of brain strokes or any kind of aneurysms or in their brains. I call them well and healed and whole and well in Jesus' name. From all kinds of brain things, Father, I thank you, Lord. Uh, from stroke, from, from paralyzed in the face, I speak healing and wholeness and wellness in the name of Jesus. Paralyzed in the arms from the strokes. I call them well and legs or whatever damage this has caused. I call healing and wholeness and wellness over you in the name of Jesus. Process. Sometimes miracles are a process. Sometimes... You walk it out. But if you walk it out and you receive it, it's still a miracle. What was impossible becomes possible is still a miracle, even if it takes sometimes days to receive the full manifestation. Do not give up on the full manifestation of what you're believing for, just like I'm not doing. I don't give up on met my daughter ever. I keep speaking and calling those things that be not as though they were. I call her healed all the time, and I'm seeing a result even in, even through the Christmas. She, she It was the best Christmas she's ever had. I believe every single day for her full manifestation, but but I'm still thankful for every single for every little thing I get for it. Uh, it's a, of the process. God's faithful is what I'm trying to tell you all. You don't give up on your miracle. Never. So I saw a process with this, with somebody. So believe for the full manifestation every day. And, and you start moving your fingers, I will receive it by faith. I am healed by faith. I am healed by faith. In the name of Jesus, I call those things that be not as though they were. I call my arm and my, my body to move. I call my body to move. Faith without works is dead. So move it, move it by faith. I move, I move by faith, even if you can't. I move it by faith, even if you have to move your eye. I move my eyes by faith in Jesus' name. Whatever it takes, speak it. Do not stay stagnant. Call on those things that be not as though they were. Acting in faith, believing. Do it by faith. So I'm just going to believe that. I believe that with you. I believe for complete manifestations of whatever you're believing for. Every single one of you. 
And I just want to say thank you for joining me today. I, I, I believe this video was a blessing to you. I really do. I believe that there's deliverances coming to you. I believe your minds are set free. Jesus came on this earth. He came and set the captives free. He, he died. He rose again on the third day. And he did it all for you. He did it all for me. And he would do it all again just for you. So don't say your life's not worth anything. Oh, well, I'm a no good so-and-so. He, he doesn't love me. I don't know why I'm even here. No, he loves even you. He loves you. Jesus came and died and suffered for you. And today's your day for your deliverance. You give your heart to Jesus Christ today. Turn from your wicked ways. Turn from your sin. And Jesus will set you free from all that bondage and baggage. So that's what I have for you all today. Put a smile on your face and a song in your heart. Jesus loves you so much and we love you. And we will see you next time. Y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye-bye.